In this tutorial, we'll go back to our edit product page and on the grid view we'll add a uh, confirmation button in case the user wants to delete one of their records. So we'll come up and ask him, are you sure you want to delete it before it deletes it? So what we'll do to um, accomplish this, switch to design view, and what we need to do is to get these guys to be templates so that we can get inside the black box and deal with them a little bit. So we'll go to the ed edit columns, go to the command field, convert it to a template field. Then we will go to the source. And you notice now we have the two buttons in here. We can get the delete button and the select button. So I'm going to come in here and add a span. And I'm actually going to grab a chunk of code from over here that has a little JavaScript in it. And this JavaScript puts out a confirm button. So uh, the confirm button again is JavaScript. If this returns true, then the code inside here will fire off. Otherwise, it won't. So basically, we do this: we do a span on click, and then this return confirm. You gotta need to have the confirm puts the confirm button on. The return says only do the stuff inside here if this is true. So let's test this out and show you what happens. And let's actually test it this way. We need to um, put another record in there to delete. So I'm going to go to the default page for the admin. And we'll add another record in here. So we'll create a new product section. Let's call it miscellaneous. Say this is a test. And then insert this new record. Then we'll return to the admin page, edit existing product section. So here on this miscellaneous, if we click the delete button, you notice now we get this that pops up. If we cancel, then the record stays. If we delete and then say OK, the record's gone. So again, we uh, convert. That, temp that field to a template field and then add this bit of JavaScript in there to get the, uh, get the, the confirm button on the page.